This is Newsmax TV. I'm Ashley Martella, and we're talking with Michigan Republican Party Chairman Saul Anuzis. Now, he's one of several candidates for chairman of the Republican National Committee. Mr. Anuzis is from a Democrat family, a former Teamster of Lithuanian descent, and he is a Catholic. Welcome to Newsmax, Saul. Great to be with you. Thank you. Why do you want to be chairman of the RNC? Well, I want to basically make a difference. More than anything else, I'd like to see us restore the American dream. I hate to be too philosophical, but I think that we have lost our way in this country. I think the Republican Party, more than anything, has lost its basis, and that's one of the reasons we're losing elections. The Republican Party took a bath in your home state in recent years. You lost the governor's race, some state Senate seats, state House seats, and lost control of the state House two years ago. And this year's presidential race was no contest, and you lost two coveted congressional seats. Do you think that will be a liability for you in your bid for RNC chairman? Well, I, I think it all actually shows exactly the kinds of fights that we have to go up against. I mean, I come from a blue state that can go red when we have candidates who actually stand on principle and run on the issues that matter. Uh, I think until, you know, our, our national leaders in Congress and elsewhere you know, start standing up for conservative principles, we won't win. And it's not going to matter what we do in Michigan, Ohio, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, or any of the other swing states until we have a party that stands for principle and candidates who actually articulate those principles and are willing to campaign on, I think, what makes America what it is today and the American principle, the conservative principles that matter. In your opinion, what do future Republican candidates have to do to become competitive again? Well, I think number one is we have to regain the trust of the American people. Uh, we basically sold ourselves as conservatives, and we lost that trust when we voted for the bridge to nowhere, voted for increased spending, voted for higher deficits, got caught up in the Abramoff, Foley, Cunningham scandals. All those, all those things ruined the Republican brand and ruined our ability to run as, as Republicans. And when you take a look at Barack Obama's success, the idea that he actually won by promising the American people, 95% of the American people, a tax cut, and reforming government and having a strong defense, he basically co-opted our conservative principles and moved to the right because we, as Republicans and as candidates, didn't have the credibility to make our case to the American people. How about the bailout of the of now now the big three automakers asking for w with their hands out, but before that the Wall Street banking industry is that a good idea for conservatives or not? No, it's not. Look, I I came out before the bailout was there and, and made my point that I thought it was a huge mistake, especially the idea of writing a blank check. I think the arrogance of the initial bill that was proposed, where it was a three-page trust me proposal by. Uh, Secretary of Treasury uh, Paulson, who basically said, give me $700 billion and I'll take care of it, was an unbelievable act of arrogance considering uh, the danger and the potential of abuse uh, in a government system, in a government bailout. I don't think we addressed the root cause of the problems. I don't think we handled the mortgage crisis. We clearly didn't free up the credit markets as of yet. And I think any time government looks at getting involved in a, in a straight-out bailout, there's problems. Now, government has a role. Government has played a role and will continue to play a role. And there's things that they can do. But having a blank check and having a bailout, in the, especially the kind that we did in, in, uh, on Wall Street, is a huge mistake, I believe. Michigan Republican Party Chairman Saul Anousis, good luck to you and thanks for speaking with Newsmax. Well, thank you for having me. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.